Hey, what's up? This is Jay, and I wanted to thank you so much for listening to my last video. If you're a subscriber, or even if you didn't subscribe yet, it was about the introduction to the report that I'm going to be doing on Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other cryptocurrencies. And I also just wanted to say as well, if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel, and I'll be giving you more information on cryptocurrencies, what you like, if you have any comments about what you want to learn about when it comes to personal finances or other aspects of life, even um, some career advice. I can probably give you some career advice or some resume tips so on and so forth because i've been through a lot in that form and actually speaking of resumes just really fast before i get to the main topic of the video here i paid somebody quite a bit of money many years ago to do my resume and it's really paid off over the years many people have asked me how do i get in the door with the resume so on and so forth and i can eventually show you all that I'm not going to show you my personal resume per se but i'm going to give some really great tips on those resumes in the future but that's not the point of this video the point of this video is to show you some really cool things and i put a word document up here because i wanted you not to look at the next slide the next uh web pages i'm going to show you but i'm going to go over really fast in that report what i'm going to talk about a core when it comes to bitcoin and ethereum so check this out i'm going to now close this wonderful word document so you can see so really fast we're going to talk about bitcoin and this is also going to be in the report that i have coming up and, and even more information so appreciate it hanging out with me so let me get me away from the middle of this bitcoin chart so you can see the history of bitcoin in the past six months and we're also going to go over the history of the technical chart this is called technical analysis not fundamental analysis so fundamental analysis has to do with news and stuff like that and for example fundamentals of a company or the news of a company or the balance sheet or cash flow you know finance statements of a company that's fundamentals looking at the fundamentals of it those are just a small part of the fundamentals and by the way this is not financial advice so please invest at your own risk so here we go let me get me out of the center of this video here and put me to the side of your video <laughs> all right so let's take let's take a look at bitcoin really fast i'm just going to quickly go over this in the past six months okay bitcoin if you follow this this is you can get this by the way on yahoo or uh, finance.yahoo.com i'm not sure in in different countries if it's a dot com or a, a dot like i think uh, australia is the dot au I, i'm not sure so forgive me if i don't know the finance dot com the end of it on the end of that uh web page there but if you look at it you can see that bitcoin for example was let's get this video over here <laughs> thanks um so you can see six months ago, back in July time frame, Bitcoin was 9,128, give or take. And what day was that? Does it say the day there? No, it doesn't. So, all right, so we're gonna go back a little bit further, but now let's take a look at this. Wow, check this out. Bitcoin has gone up to $13,550 on 11 one, November 1st of this year, and jumped up to 15,000, five hundred and seventy nine dollars and it took a little dip and now jumped up again this is crazy folks this is nuts why is this doing this we're gonna find out and i'm gonna have some possible answers not the answer but some possible answers why let's take a quick look at a year chart of bitcoin what's going on here oh my goodness look at that on 312 there's the date 312 311 312 ish time frame bitcoin was four thousand nine hundred and seventy dollars that's nuts if a person had invested in one bitcoin and actually they're not physical coins or digital cryptocurrency money a lot of people think they're physical coins even though you see in in uh, the videos like in some of my videos i have a coin that's just a representation of what an imaginary per se bitcoin could look like because we need to associate the coin with the visual basis, which would be, you know, a coin with BTC, so on and so forth. 
Well, anyway, so look at that. You would have basically tripled the investment if somebody had a little bit more than tripled the investment because 10000 will be doubling it and $15,000, mind you, because this is – I'm talking American dollars here. I don't know in, if it's if it's a if you're in Canada or Australia or other parts of Europe or Asia or Africa, what that would equivalent to. I, forgive me on that. I don't know all the currency, so I'm just going to relate it to it in dollars. And, and you know, and if you want to get the currency, you just type in currency conversion and look at what dollars are and what it would be in your country's currency if that's the way that you want to look at it from that standpoint and that's fine too no problem but i'm just going to go over the dollar part anyway so getting back on point here five thousand dollars almost you know four thousand dollars and uh, what was that what did we say it was four thousand nine hundred seventy to fifteen thousand four hundred and what's the top of that five hundred and seventy nine dollars that's all that's three times the profit plus $579. That is awesome. Again, this is not financial advice. This is just looking at the chart for the past year. Okay. Now we're going to go to Ethereum really fast. And let's check it out for the past year. Let's look at the past six months actually on Ethereum, where it has gone. So right now, Ethereum, because these are live charts, mind you. Okay. Ethereum, let's bring it down a little bit. Four hundred and fifty dollars and seventy three cents, three three nine to the tenth, 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 whatever it is. Okay, it's down one point zero. Oh, you see that one point zero five four four percent. So you know this is a live chart. So let's take it down a little bit. Let's take a look back in back in June, or uh, excuse me, May. So it was two hundred and eleven dollars. Now four hundred and fifty. So you, if somebody had invested in that. They would have doubled their profit there. Let's look at Ethereum for one year, a chart on Ethereum. See what's going on with this thing here. Oh, wow. Look, it jumped up there back in uh, February. All right. Let's see. One year ago, 11-8-2019, it was $185. That's still. Now, if somebody had invested in it, it still would have more than doubled their profit. But if we look down here, oh my goodness, wow, look at that. And I think that's about the same time frame that, that uh, Bitcoin also went down. We're going to compare a chart just so y'all, we'll, we'll take a look at it so y'all understand that too. So that's $112. $112 times four is what? Let's do a quick, let's do a quick equation on that. If somebody had $112 times Four equals four hundred forty-eight dollars. That's four times the investment. If if somebody had gotten in, and I wish I had gotten in back then, because that would have been fantastic. And I'm not in it, but right now I I'm not in Ethereum. But I I love these things, these charts, and and just awesome. So one hundred and twelve to four hundred and fifty that's four times investment plus two dollars i think it was four hundred and forty eight dollars was the calculator so wow that's crazy let's do a quick comparison on bitcoin versus ethereum this is going to be cool i'm sure you're going to enjoy this little chart here i have to go up here really fast and i and i do and you can do this again from finance.yahoo.com okay and let's type in btc Okay, or excuse me, Bitcoin, not BTC, Bitcoin. All right, and Bitcoin is, it should be here. All right, let's do this then. If it's not coming up that way, let's go over here and type in Ethereum. There, there it is, ETH dash US dollars. So we're going to make that line the green line. Just because, whatever. So in one year, in six months, so remember the green line, if you look at the BTC is blue right here, okay? Looking at that line, and the green line is Ethereum. So in six months, these are the percentages as well over here. You can see the percentage, 25, 50, 75, 100, 112, blah, 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 so on and so forth. So in six months, Ethereum has beaten Bitcoin by 112, 112 
it went up 112%, 0.94, and then Bitcoin only went up 56.70. So give or take an average of maybe 50% more. But still, again, if somebody had gotten in down here when it was, what day is that? Let's see. Down here, which was 312, and that's when Bitcoin did drop as well. That blue line's Bitcoin right there as well. Looking at that now. Um, getting in there, wow. 200, and actually, what is that? Let's take a look at a year chart really fast. One year, look at this. Wow, this is crazy how they almost follow the blue line and the green line, almost follow the same pattern. Almost, but not quite. Because look at here, look at that big gap right there. That big gap right there between Bitcoin, blue, remember blue, and then green, Ethereum. Look at that big gap. Wow, that's crazy. Anyway, so going here, if somebody had invested a year ago in Bitcoin versus Ethereum, they would have made 75% on their return on Bitcoin and 146.21 on Ethereum. That's awesome. Again, this is not an investment advice. Don't take this as investment advice. We're just looking at the technicals here. Invest at your own risk, okay? I just like going over these charts because I like to see patterns of history. It's very, very important. A lot of people forget history, what history is about. It's very important to understand history because sometimes history repeats itself. Not all the time. It's not a fact. Not all the time, but sometimes it does. Just like if you tie your shoe one day, the next day, you're probably going to tie your shoe again, right? Hopefully, that's history repeating itself, and that's just the basics of life. Or you Velcro your shoe one day, the next day, hopefully you're going to Velcro your shoe again. You know, it's, it's the same principles. But even if you tie your shoe that next day, it doesn't mean you're going to walk out the door and not trip because the day you didn't, previously you didn't, or your shoe might get untied within 10 minutes. History doesn't always repeat itself. One day, a shoe may be tied all day. The next day, it may untie two or three times. Just like that happened to me today, twice. <laughs> anyway, so just remember, history sometimes repeats itself, but not always. And I don't have the specifics on the percentage of when history repeats itself. I'm not a prophet, and I don't have a crystal ball. Anyway, I just wanted to share these charts with y'all. I hope you really enjoyed this video. And you would please consider subscribing to my channel to get more updates like this because I'm going to talk about these charts again and some other cryptocurrencies in my report when I get that report done. And hopefully I'll get that report done by the end of November, the absolute latest. And I will be giving more updates on this report. And this report is so important to understand the cryptocurrency market and also Bitcoin and Ethereum and ICOs, which ICOs is R is stands for, excuse me, initial coin. You know what? Initial coin offering. I almost said opening for some reason. That's called getting younger, folks. <laughs> you know what I mean when you when you draw a blank on something in life. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. A little bit of history, a Bitcoin chart, an Ethereum chart. Please subscribe again. I appreciate it. And I'm going to do this report. Please, it is so important that you get this information. When this report comes out, I'm going to have a link and it'll have that report. Okay. If there is anything that you want to learn about when it comes to cryptocurrency or personal finances or career advice or resume tips or interview tips, please comment. I really appreciate it. I will reply and I will do my best to answer your question. I want to help you with life. That's why the name of this channel is Get Motivated in Life or About Life, okay? You got to just keep pushing forward and look on the bright side of things, all right? Thank you so much. God bless you. Have a great week. Tomorrow's Monday. Some of you are watching this. It's already Monday. So have a great week. Take care.